the Joe Rogan experience. Well, I think I think running off your toe is great. Yeah, I but mean, the there's problem some, is the, the, who the does shoes, it? the running who shoes. Who does it? Right. Who who does it? I do. I run with minimalist shoes. Yeah. But, and I only but I mean, who? Hills. But it forces but a standing bike. That is ridiculous. I wouldn't be caught dead in that thing. <laughs> Well, Get that, away from me. that that there that's the elliptical. <laughs> they have a new a new one that's just a pedal. I'm just kidding. I think yeah. it looks awesome. No, just, but you know why the guy made that? Silly. Because the guy was a runner uh-huh. and couldn't run anymore, got injured. Uh. And then he and he started to bike and he said biking's not running. And so then he developed that thing because it simulates running mm-hmm. without the impact. So right. and that's and like I said, that's why I like the pool. That's why and and I, and I think too it's like if you think about doing things forever. Mm, we're talking yeah, about doing things right. forever yeah right yes so we're talking about doing things forever so how are we going to do them so we can do them forever no yeah. impact <laughs> well yeah. so reducing impact and if you actually started doing that initially then you might not have to worry about trying to recover from right. all that stuff that you so it's like we don't want to train in a way that we're going to have to change our training to try to make up because all the damage we've done let's try to avoid the damage from the beginning mm-hmm. i'm it's already too late for me i got seven you know i got six broken ankles jesus i got Christ, broken your arches ankle. do broken. that again what the hell did you just do your ankle has a well, golf it's been ball broke six, out of it. six or seven times broke the arch broke all the medical just from surfing all different motorbike surfing snowboarding just, how did you mess up your hip uh probably because my broke walking on a broken ankle for uh all those years that because each time i broke it i had five or six different breaks and then i would keep going so i would keep walking on it and but it means i had to carry the load on my right hip so i think i just wore the cartilage out wow. from offsetting and carrying the load of the broken leg jesus so that was but so i mean it's so it wasn't like one injury where you hurt your hip it was just slow oh, no i just wore it out i just i, I said yeah. i lived a couple lives with that one that was that that was only a one life hip and i had three lives in it <laughs> What is it like having a, a fake hip? Insane, incredible, bionic. Yeah. The thing's not even in my in my in my brain. Not even. How so? It doesn't. I doesn't. I I don't ever even bring it in into consciousness. It's and it's slicker. It's like a Mercedes Benz ball joint. I mean, it's absolutely perfect. Wow. It's it, it, and and you know. I mean, I've had ACL. I had some knee stuff before. That was harder to recover from than the hip. The hip was, I, I just felt like I got kicked by a horse for a couple months. And then after that, it was like no brainer, jump off a cliff, go stand up, paddle, run. I mean, do they tell you to not do certain things? No. Really? No. You could, like, you could just start taking jujitsu. Don't do or... anything you should do with your real one. Oh, really? That's Don't it? Don't do anything you shouldn't do with your real one. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Wow. That was the only thing. I mean, the guy, um, the uh, Dr. Pennenberg, who did mine, he he did it to a, a contortionist. I guess some contortionist had some blown hips, and he did it to, and sh- the the girl's still performing and stuff. So I, I don't, I, I think it's. I mean, this stuff is the technology is amazing, and the thing that I, I the thing that I would consider if I ever had to do it again is that the atrophy from the 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 initial problem mm-hmm. is harder to recover from than you just go in and get in the new one. And I think when people push it, you know, they used to try to push that stuff because they wanted to wait for the technology got better and they mm-hmm. only last 15 years and all that stuff. Um, but the atrophy that you try to recover from is harder to recover from than if you would have gone and, and, and gotten it done when you need, when, as soon as you needed to have it done. So the one you have now, you have to get it swapped out every 15 years? No. No, 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 but but oh, in the, back in the early days. Well, they 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 don't know how long this new stuff lasts. They had some they had some material that that wore out after like because the, there's a, a like a, a some kind of polyurethane, some kind of slick like, outer layer. Well, like a cartlet, like like a man made cartilage between mm. the ball joint and the socket, and so that stuff wore out in the past. But that, that, and they have this new stuff that that has been in for 10 years and a lot of people are already and they've seen zero wear on it. So wow. you don't, you don't know, it could be 30, could be, you know, could be 10. I mean, I, I, I was actually, uh, I stayed conscious in, in, I was able to stay awake for my hip Why surgery. Did you do that? Uh, cause I didn't want to have to recover from the, from the, uh, anesthesia. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It takes people a month to get the anesthesia out of their system. Really? So, oh Yeah. To try to get the anesthesia. I mean, anesthesia is controlled death. They just put you right to the edge of dying and keep you alive. I mean, anesthesia is some hard stuff on your system. To get that stuff out of your organs, you got to do like a full 
detox cleanse it's not just like oh yeah anesthesia i've never heard that before i didn't i didn't know that I thought, oh yeah i thought you'd feel like shit for a day or two but i didn't know it takes that's a month sh- nah, that shit's in your organs and stuff there's really? no way that stuff just goes out they can't they can't dose you out and knock you out like that without that stuff lingering i mean you know how long does it take to when you got a hangover i mean you know? so did they do like an epidural block on you or something epidural like block yeah. yeah and they had it so good that they could just isolate the left the left hip they did that to me when i had my first acl surgery because yep. i wanted to see it yeah because i was like i, yeah, yeah. I want to watch i felt like i'm only going to do this once in my life i want to see this it turns out i had three of them <laughs> yeah three knee surgeries but yeah but i wanted to see it i wanted yeah. to i wanted to be there Observe. it was pretty freaky yeah it was acl yeah i had acl too yeah i, I had, had acl the right leg done. yeah I yeah, did. I the, had a the cadaver. Left, I had a cadaver on yeah. my right leg, and yeah. the left leg I had a patella tendon and ground. Oh yeah, yeah. So now your hip doesn't even—you don't feel it. You don't feel anything. No not pain. even in the wheel. Not even a thought. Wow. Not even like That's like amazing. amazing. And it was I was, it was debilitating. I could barely walk. I mean, I could still surf, but I'd get to land. And I was hobbling around like, you know. My wounded. friend uh, Maynard from Tool. You know the band Tool. Yeah. Maynard is a—he's a jujitsu enthusiast, and he had to get his hip done. Uh, and he fucked his hip up from stomping on stage, you know, because he's always like yeah. stomping with one yeah. leg. Yeah. He blew his hip out. Yeah. Well, I think mine's attributed a lot to my back leg and surfing. Uh, okay. So I'm on that back leg and that mm, back leg is always loaded. loaded. So yeah. it, it, I think that, but, but I know the breaks, the breaks in the other, in the left ankle and left foot and how many I had and that I was always on it. I know that attributed a lot because this, this, this right leg carried the load for that thing for did you get your left leg fixed I mean, uh, my the, ankle the ankle yeah Nah, i just <laughs> let it <laughs> so every time calcify. it broke listen i went i went to my knee uh to get my knee worked on and the guy goes he saw my ankle and he goes and then he saw the mo- how much mobility i had and he called in some foot specialists and they had to take x-ray they just wanted to see because i have no metal in there there's no screws there's no nothing i just let it you know and just so every time Bone it snapped, grid. you just let it sort of heal itself yeah, up? Yeah. So it snapped and you just walk around on it? Like- yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Cut the cast off. The Jesus first time was when I was 16. That's so crazy. I, I cut the cast off and, you know, and I went out and rebroke it the first time. Oh. And then uh, and then I had broke it other ways. It got a little smarter after God I rebroke damn. it. damn. But, yeah. That's so crazy. And then crazy. arch, the arch, I broke the arch because the ankle was so cal- so. Uh, bonded that when i broke it i actually broke my arch that was the, probably the most painful that was the most painful uh breakdown in that area <laughs> yeah well when i talked to kelly slater he broke his foot like yeah. that too yeah the same sort well, of his deal. was just recently yeah yeah and his his was fucked up for a long time yeah. he said that's a a painful thing to snap your toes like you're the, the, the metatarsals your foot. Yeah. are crazy well oh. you have you have uh 75 of the bones in your body are below your ankles what Really? 75%. Like, in terms like, of numbers. Yeah, numbers of bones. Yeah. But your feet, your feet have like half the bones of your entire body. God, I never thought of that. That's crazy. But it may, there's a lot of shit down there. A lot. A lot going on. A lot. Little little ones and yeah. little nubs and weird little ankle. See, that's why kickboxing is so stupid. You're throwing those things at people and slamming them into elbows and knees and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I fucked the my quads feet up a bunch big. Of times. Oh, guaranteed. Yeah, I've broken my feet. Nothing like kicking something and breaking your feet. Yeah. yeah elbows. It's, it's a little embarrassing if it's a wall though. Oh yeah. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Is that what you kicked? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Uh-oh. No, mine was I like I said I broke mine broke mostly sports related. Motorbike, mm-hmm. uh windsurfing, Ugh. you know, towing. Yeah. Yeah. 